A quarter of a million pounds. 22 identical sealed boxes and no questions. Except one. Deal? Or no deal? Pilgrims are here, the players are here, the banker is there, the crazy chair is here, and it's the second show in our second season, and yet we seem to be replicating the way we finished five weeks ago. Yes, the banker is in the ascendancy. We are being battered. Yesterday, Lindsay, lovely lady from Inverness, played a very, very strong game, very courageous game, actually. And uh, she turned down 12,500. She went away with £500 in the end. Her courage was not rewarded. But, guys, that's not to say that on this Tuesday, courage and bravery and determination won't be rewarded. Remember, whoever comes out here, it's your game. Play it your way. Forget the history of 235 past games. We have 22 identical sealed boxes. 11 in the West Wing, 11 in the East Wing. And those 22 different sums of money. They're tantalising. And in the last few games of the last season, we saw people relentlessly destroy the right-hand side, the red side. We are overdue exactly the same thing happening, but on the left side, the blue side. Let's choose a player to hopefully do just that, take the blues. Facing up to and hopefully facing down the banker is Nick. Come on, Nick, proves that it's a big money Tuesday. Welcome indeed. With a name Thanks, like Nick. Nick, we're looking to big things from you. Let's hope so. Come in, Nicky's money. Take a seat. Nick Diamond from Romford in Essex. I know Romford well. Used to live in Gideon Park. Self-employed AV installer. What's that involve? Um, Hi-fi systems and big screen TVs, putting them in people's homes. Mm -hmm. Girlfriend Claire. Hello, Claire. Hello, Noel. <laughs> <laughs> She's a case. How did you meet? We met in uh, the ball in Romford. You might know that pub. Yes. You see us sitting there with a couple of friends. I've got one motto, which is, he who dares wins. And uh, I just thought, what the heck, I'll go up and uh, see if she fancies a drink. So what did you think when you saw him? Well, I thought he was a bit of a cheeky chappy, to be honest, Noel. But then he won me over. I think you can <laughs> handle it, Claire. Yeah, I think I can, <laughs> so Noel. Can. We've had our chats, haven't we? We have indeed, yes. You look gorgeous. And so do you, Noel. Any time you want to upgrade, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I might just do that. <laughs> <laughs> now, he considers himself to be lucky, not because he went to the casino in Monte Carlo or he's been to Las Vegas and played the tables and come away with a fortune. No, he once, in Baker Street in London, found a parking meter with money in it. <laughs> Ooh, you're a high roller. Certainly am. But just one day I turned up there and there was £2 on the meter, so... So it was your lucky day. Lucky day. I knew I wasn't getting a ticket that day. Have you got on top of your box? It was a card from, uh, from Claire. Feel free to, to read it out if you want. To my gorgeous baby. Is that you? <laughs> Come <on. It> <laughs> He who dares wins. Good luck. All the very best of luck, honey. All my love, as always, Claire. Thank you, Claire. No problem. Play it as a team. You got a system? No, no system. OK. So you're just going to play it by intuition yep. and hope that this Tuesday is your lucky day. Yes. Good. You've got box 13. Does that give you the collie wobbles? Um, I'm not really superstitious, but 13 is supposed to be unlucky for some. This doesn't mean anything to me, but 
in a way, I'm quite glad that I've got it so I don't have to pick it out from one of my lovely friends in the East Wing and West Wing. Yet. Well, it's a powerful number. I need you to confirm that you did indeed choose box 13 before the show. I certainly did. At random. We didn't force it on you. No. Nope, it's random. sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all of the boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Right, Bill? Good luck. OK, we're going to start with Rob, good friend, number 18. Thank you, all Rob. The... Away you go. All the best, Nick. Really mean it. Thank you, Rob. We'll go with Barbara, number one, please. All the best, Nick. I hope it's a good one for you. Thanks, Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. Oh. oh, yet again, first round damage. This time, the 100,000 discovered. All right, well, obviously, it's a blow, but it's still early days. Early days. Early days. Early days. Come on. I'll go with Emmy, number six, please. Blue. Three okay, that's all right. We'll go with Sharon, number eleven, please. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Blessed relief, that P. I'm going to pick Sal, number 16, please. Sal? Yeah. Hope you go the way, Nick. Thank you. Sal. That's good. That's good. Don't need to tidy. Well? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy. Obviously, the 100,000 was a, was a blow, but apart from that, I'm extremely happy. Mm -hmm. How did you learn your trade as an AV installer? I first started working in Tottenham Court Road, just um, working as a, a hi-fi salesman, believe it or not. But I was never, never been any good at selling, just too honest, give the person what they want and not what you can earn money on. So, and then one of the guys working there, he installed systems and he asked me if I, w if I wanted a job. And that was it. Went from there. Good point. Good point. You're too honest. That's an interesting one. He likes courageous players. I'm not sure what his view is on honesty. Hello. Oh, good. He loves an honest player. He's just said, what was your motto? He who dares wins. OK. Um, <laughs> the honesty bit has gone down uh, quite well. The borrowing the SAS motto hasn't gone so well. Who dares wins? It's, it's not of uh, the SAS. No? Um, Who's it off then? Um, only Fools and Horses, the whole boy. <laughs> <laughs> he is worried about one particular thing that you said that you weren't much of a salesman. And you've got to try and sell that box to it. And consequently, your opening offer is £8,000. It's a very respectable You offer. got away with nicking a motto and admitting <laughs> that you're a rubbish salesman and you get a mighty meaty first offer. Eight thousand pounds, Nick. I've given it some serious thought, most definitely, but you can ask me the question now. Eight thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, guys. Uh... Okay, 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 okay. It's okay to stand. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Is it okay to sit? Of course, be my guest. Okay. <laughs> Number nine, please, Matt. I mean, Matt jumped out. <laughs> Box number nine. Would you please open it, Matt? It's a blue shirt, mate. 
Blue number. Good luck. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Good. We'll have uh, Maddie, please. Number 17. Thank you. Good luck, Nick. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh. Right, this is good. Thank you, Maddie. Very, very good. I'm totally distracted by something you said earlier. Totally distracted. What was that? Um, well, we know for a fact that uh, this show is watched not only in people's homes, in offices, actually throughout the armed forces. And I just imagine a bunch of guys down in Hereford, the SAS, <laughs> who have just found out that their motto actually comes from, from Del Boy. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know what? If this next box is blue, Who Dares Wins could actually pay off for you. Come back after the break. This is at a very interesting point. See you in a moment. yesterday's game and after some of the games in the final week of our first season where there were so many mind games I'm really keen this becomes a money game although he is going to play around about this whole thing that you gave up being a salesman because you didn't like being dishonest and you've got to try and convince him that he ought to buy box 13 so there's going to be a mind game there let's keep it to a money game by finding a blue where do you want to go I'm going to pick V number 21 welcome V thank you I was just about to say, that's your <laughs> first your first duty in your very first game. Thank you, V. Good luck. I hope this is a blue one. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly what you needed. Exactly what you needed. Now, that is fantastic. I couldn't have asked for a better board. No? No. No, we were disappointed to see the 100,000 yes, go, course. but... It's all right, Nev? It's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's shaping up to be a really good board, that, Nick. All right, you've done a bit of damage with the 100,000, but, what, four of the top five there? Plenty of blues going west. Keep it up, you'll be all right, mate. What do you think, Maddie? Top, mate. I think it's a brilliant board. I'm really pleased for you, Nick. Thank you. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> you said it's you loved up. me. I do love you as well. <laughs> different way <laughs> <laughs> I've never been so pleased to hear the phone ring hi you're shaken Ooh. Mm. very very interesting he's still going on about the SAS he can't quite see how the elite fighting machine <laughs> can be compared in any way with a sitcom but um, to paraphrase the offer as it came through me bravo to zero and if you don't accept it you're a plonker twenty thousand pounds <laughs> What do you think, Claire? Nice offer. Very nice offer. Drink up, darling, we're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Serious money. I've never never had that kind of money in my life. Not not even 8k, let alone 20,000. Tax free. Tax free as well. Unfortunately, there seems to be a theme at the moment that when we get the big offer, the next round decimates the board. The game falls apart. So, how courageous are you feeling? Who dares wins? Yep, yeah, I've made up my mind. Ask me the question, please. Okay, £20,000. £20,000, deal or no deal?
No deal. Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, everyone. Great stuff. <laughs> Show the courage, and if he believes it's genuine, you will get the big offers. I'm going to go for a good friend, Paul, number 22. Paul, blue. We're ready for a big win, Nick. I hope it's you. Yes! Yes! yes. Good Great start. Thank you. OK, we've got to believe this is the killer round, the one that comes after the big offer but doesn't destroy the game, the pivotal round. I'm going to go with Mark, number eight, please. Thank you, Mark. Good luck. Thanks, mate. Yes! yes. <laughs> one to go, one to go. If this is blue, you are motoring. This is the game we have waited weeks and weeks and weeks for. I'm going to go with number two, Adam, please. OK, Adam, this mustn't be one of the biggies. Make this blue. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank you. I think I might have to take a seat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We've been praying for the return to a different part of the cycle where it's the blues that go one after another. Well done. Couldn't have asked for anything better. I'm over the moon because this is such a different conversation. Hello. <laughs> oh, that's a different view. Yes, he installs audio visual. Equipment. He wonders if you could help with the colour balance on the screen that he's looking at. <laughs> it's gone a little bit red. Thank you. Watch his face. Thirty-one thousand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right up there with the greats. Third offer, 31,000. It's only the second time such a large offer has been made at that point in the game. He's massive again. He keeps making me speechless with the offers. Well, this is a very interesting point, not just in terms of the game, but in terms of where your thinking should be going, Nick. There was this lady, Brenda. She had. 31,000 as the third offer. And she went, in the end, to get over 50,000 pounds. Claire? What a bold. <laughs> I think that 31 grand is such a big offer, but that is such a strong bold. Do what you've got to do. Game girl? Game girl, thank you. Right. Right. Ask me the question, please, now. Okay. £31,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. Go on, guys. Let's have another one of these. Go on, guys. Let's do it again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on! You know, the big money goes to the brave. That was courageous. Was it also wise? It's already been said it would be extraordinary to now just pick off three blues. Right, OK, here we go. Nev, please, mate. Big responsibility. Good luck, Nick. I've got to be a little... 
It's OK. That's good. That's good. All right. That's good, mate. We're going to go with number four, Sandra, please. Anything lower than the offer is good news at this point in the game. But it would be great if it was a blue one. Go on, Sandra. Good luck. This is it. You now cannot take out the quarter million, the 75, 50, 35, all together. If the damage comes, it hopefully will be containable. This box is possibly the most important box <laughs> that you've come across in your life. I'm going to go with uh, Steph. Number 10, please. Steph, it's not a word of a lie. It's not a single ounce of exaggeration to say the opening of this box could possibly change his life, Claire's life, dramatically for the better. And that's why you will come back straight away. Extraordinary game for all the right reasons of the big numbers, of the significant numbers, only one has gone. And he had the courage to decline 31,000. It is the highest offer, it's been a 31,000 before, the highest offer at that stage, equal highest. Wow, where are we going now? I'll ask for Steph, number 10, please. Okay. All right, Steph. Oh, so important. You are a true diamond geezer, and this family's <laughs> not going to be the same without you. Good luck. Thanks, Dave. Yeah! Oh! It is a blue! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> you are now going to have a real problem. I know. <laughs> you are going to have a mega problem. I think I've got to sit down again. <laughs> it's funny how the relief of oh. seeing that turns to the excitement of seeing it and then the realisation, oh, oh no, oh I'm going to be God. tested. <laughs> I am going to be tested. Still speechless. I can't, as I said, couldn't have wished for anything better. Just to see one blue at this stage in the game. Can't remember when we've only had one blue at the eight box. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. No mind games, please. Let's just get on with the money. What was that sound? Was that the sound of your checkbook opening? And the top coming off that big, fat fountain pen of yours? Oh, it was. Okay. He wants to apologise if he was sarcastic at the beginning. And he thinks actually who dares wins is quite appropriate. <laughs> Bearing in mind how courageous you're now being. <coughs> he is testing you. He certainly is. And he did say there are no circumstances under which he wishes to write a cheque for a quarter of a million pounds. So, he thinks you're going with a cheque for... Forty-five thousand oh, pounds. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so right. you, you said at the beginning of the game, you said that you'd never ever had eight grand. Never. All right. Ask everybody. Let me pitch in first. Please. 45 grand. <laughs> well done, Nick. <laughs> it's real money, tax-free. 
Do whatever you want. Take your time. This is one of the most important decisions of your life. Lester, I need some help, really. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to start over on the West Wing again with, uh, with Lance. That's a fantastic offer. Make your own mind up. I'm not getting involved in this. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Lance. <laughs> You're very helpful. <laughs> Um, it's a good offer, but you know why it's a good offer, because yeah, it's a good board. Of course, of course. But we've seen it change, and I we think have. if I was you, I would deal. Thank you, Connick. £45,000, mate. It's a huge wad of cash. But you're not going to get in that chair again, and you're never going to have a crack at a board that good. If no. I was in your spot now, I would go on. How is my man? How are you doing, Nick? <sighs> Struggling. Struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, from me to you, just follow your heart. Whatever your heart tells you, do it. Yeah. Are we there? Yes, you can ask me the question. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> OK. £45,000. Deal? or no deal? Deal. Happy for him? Yes! Thank you. Happy for him? Yes! Happy for him? Yes! Well done, Nick. Exactly. Well exactly. £45,000. We actually now want to prove that it was the right deal at the right time. Now you must play on with total honesty. Where would we have gone now, Nick? I was being drawn to Carney, and that would have been my first box. If I would have said no deal, I would have definitely gone for the box. OK, Carney. What are we going to see? Absolutely. <laughs> I know what you mean. Oh, don't. Hey. 50 50 what I was going to do there. And... Well, OK. Well, we're going <laughs> to stick with us because this is fascinating. The next two. Where would you have gone first of all? We've gone to another happy hammer. Bill, number 20. Right, Bill. We are looking for these reds. OK, that was the last blue. Sarah, box 15. Sarah, we do want to see 75,000 or 50,000. Yes! Yeah! What about that? Quarter of a million and 75,000. Mm. And now the only way that you can possibly <laughs> have got it wrong is if the 50,000 is sitting there. You, sir, have done all right. Hello. £25,000 would have been the offer. The only way your deal was a bad deal is if fifty grand is sitting there. So now, in this round, let's find it. I'm going to go for Lance, number 19, please. Have you got it, Lance? No. 15,000. We're really keen to see that 50. Go for a, a top man, good mover on the dance floor. My mate Otis. Find us the 50. 
35. We want to find it now. Go on, Nick, find okay. it. Go. Helen, number five, please. Come on, Helen, reveal it. Fantastic game, Nick. Yeah! That's it. That's it. Yeah. Thank you very much, yeah. Helen. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Whichever way you cut it now, well done, Nick. You did a great did deal you. at the right time. Played it brilliantly. Hello. I just love this. I'm so pleased. Yes, I, look, I really am enjoying this moment. We've been beaten up, haven't we? We have been beaten up over yep. so many shows. We're here, 10,000. Would you have gone 10,000? 10,000. I, I probably would have gone on. Are you shaking? <laughs> yeah, of course I am. I'm, I'm kind of, ever going to stop. Kind of <laughs> I'm kind of shaking. This is a great game, and it's the game we needed. I would have preferred it yesterday to kick off the new season, but it's fine. It's come early for us. How big a margin have you oh. beaten him by? Ooh. Five thousand. <laughs> oh, yes. 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 Well done. Thank you very much. That's it, boss. That's it, boss. Thirty-one. That's it, boss. That's it. I'll stick what I'm doing. Thirty-one. Don't you want to come and congratulate Come on, baby, come down. Oh, oh yes. yes. Well done, honey. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, okay. absolutely. Stay with him, stay with him, for yeah. goodness sake. Yeah. This is his moment. We've wanted this game for a long, long time. Well done to the two of you. 45,000, and as you've proved, there was nothing more in this game. You did the right deal at the right time. Would you please, Ashley, complete the game? 20,000 was sitting over there. You have the right to sum up your game. Anything you want to say? He who dares, breathes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he sold a £5,000 box for £45,000. You're a better salesman than you think you are. <laughs> Nick and Claire, 45000 Brilliant. <laughs> hey, yes, exactly what we needed. And in this second season of Deal or No Deal, we're offering up to £10,000 every single day in your part of this incredible show. So it is worth a phone call. What's your name? Lisa. Lisa. Would you say one, two or three for me? Two. Thank you. Box two. How much money are we now going to be sending to someone watching this show? It is the £10,000. Fantastic. Well found. Would you open the other two? Thousand and two thousand are there. Ten thousand. Many congratulations to you. Ten thousand. And hey, big oh. congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Yes. He sold a five thousand pound box for forty-five thousand pounds for the biggest significance. And look, you can see it. The biggest significance is building the confidence. The banker can be beaten, but you have to find the extra element of self-belief. And he found it. That's why he is one of our greatest players. Join us tomorrow. Wow. I think we're on a roll. I'll see you then. Bye. With Richard and Julie next on for Grand Design's Kevin McLeod and the American author who's made an extraordinary and controversial claim about her family tree.